Hello everyone, this is Winbo again. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you the differences uh, between these glasses textures that I've actually tested and over the, the months and years and trying to get things uh, to really render the best realistic glass texture in, for you in rend, uh, in Blender and also of course this is going to be in cycles I know a lot of you have been looking at the online and tested your, yourself out and tr having some really hard time to really producing photorealistic glass in the um, within the cycles and uh, I know uh, there are some solutions like, like using uh, looks core that uh, render engine to kind of do that to produce caustics and uh, today I'm just going to show you what I do okay so since here you can see these from thumbnails and also this uh, render image previews you can see we have four different glasses but they are all the exactly the same it's just only thing is just different different uh, shaders and uh, we have different textures and uh, different we're using the same lighting as well if I'm going to the layout tab I just want to show you what's the background or the environment looks like we have a pretty big area of light we have a two bounce uh, card in the back and also we have just have a uh, background and there's no HDRI involved everything uh, everything's controlled with the with the lighting just only one lighting okay if I'm go to the uh, render view as you can see here first one we are basically just using the principal PSDF and what I have done just kind of getting the roughness to the point zero zero one or you can even just get to put zero uh, and, and then then I put a transmission to all the way up to one but it, as you can see that still looks kind of fake I really don't like this kind of look but a majority of the beginners that typically sometimes they just use that way this way to do a glass so I would not really choose this one as the, our uh, texture for the glass there here's here's another one so uh, this is just a default glass BSDF and we, we just kind of simply add it on and plug it in in here so in the note uh, it's kind of interesting for this I actually quite like this uh, because it doesn't look bad at all and uh, I think this might work very well and so if you really just are looking for very simple solutions then you can just use the glass BSDF uh, the blenders over the years the development over the years getting better and better in the cycles I think this should be fine here's another example this is called a realistic glass shader actually this shader uh, it was, it was was developed by uh, by by professionals trying to to really producing uh, a lot of options for you to stimulating the caustic you see the caustic uh, <clears throat> stuff going on with the glass is you you can uh, based on what you need uh, you can actually render the, using the setting with that and also there's a bunch of stuff you can actually manipulating including even noises and the strengths so you can do a whole bunch of advanced stuff and this is is not really like uh, changing the way that uh, that the glass works in the blender because based on the cycles it's not supposed to having uh, the, the cost is coming out, um, but in, the, in, within this professional shaders, you actually getting really good result of how a real glass works. You can see that 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 texture looks very beautiful, and you have you see there's a little bit tiny green uh, uh, hint uh, tint is produced. A lot of real glasses actually have that if you pay attention to to look at this. Uh, and for the, the one I'm using is this one. Um, as you can see here, I'm using a, a mixed shader between the principal. I can actually just kind of get that out. I can use a mixed shader between a transparent and the principal. The principal, I basically still same thing. I get the, the roughness to zero and also get a one to transmission so you then mix with that and then I'm adding a greater a greater than uh, uh, math node was this ray depth and I put a thread hold in the in fire sometimes you can just kind of play around with the thread hold to getting the the results you want and additionally if you really want to getting more advanced stuff going on you can even just adding a 
a noise texture, and then um, then you can actually get a, a color ramps, and also kind of adjusting the scales and the bump node and the connect with the, the node. You can do a screenshot later to understand how this thing works, and then I'm actually hooked with the object. So I'm just going, I'm just adding some small details for the for on the texture wise on, on the side it was a little bit bump it, you, if you really pay attention on the real glass you have some imperfection although it's super smooth as a glass but still there and another thing we can add it on is called surface in imperfections so this is kind of what it looks like in surface per imperfections so if I do that you can see all the fingerprints scratches I know they are not supposed to be there at obvious because if you really render a uh, photorealistic uh, images that you really don't want to see making all these details showing because you want to if you are a photographer photographer or a CGR artist uh, that render full product you, you don't want to see these but you just want to adding a small hint of it to make it looks much better and we can actually we can just do that with a color ram uh, node and then we can just kind of do that um, I think see oh no, actually not a hooking sorry my bad it's not really hooking the the colors it's looking hooking the alpha alpha, uh, uh, alpha. so it's just getting something going in there is in there uh, trust me and uh, <laughs> and it just won't see that much because I have really this color ramps kind of control how much is going in there so you can kind of really kind of manipulating that it doesn't need to be a lot please do not overdo it that's missing the whole point having all these so if you don't really comfortable with these other additional stuff you can just simply cut them up it still looks just fine um, the, the, in the reality is the, the, the I think the, the biggest take a, take a home take home message that I wanted to let you know is is all about how you set up the light. You know, as a um, as a really uh, as a photographer and even a CG artist, that you really want to get a texture really accurately properly. We but we we fall into the 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 rabbit hole that we want to get everything everything set up properly well if you re really think about it what's your result your result is is looking for to making sure the image looks beautiful and also looks more very realistic so your outcomes are from the visual perspective if it's not really like the, t the texture that you want to make a hundred percent correct uh, it has a lot of hustle and if you definitely like this look you can go for it but i think the tricky part is how you light your scene how you working with the light and uh, one of the biggest um, mistakes people often think that oh yeah if i'm i'm creating a shader then i put everything in there and the light it should be nice no it's, it's, it's because the glass usually is very reflective and uh, if you're really photographing the real products real glass in the real life and you you have a hard time to really illuminating it because it's actually reflecting the everything surround it so well, how you set up the, the the environments very important as you can see if I'm going back to the camera view uh, I have a, a, a black place in the in the each side right and the pay attention on the on the edge of this glass if I'm just kind of close that then you're losing the defined line of the glass. So it looks still okay, but it just doesn't look professionally lit, right? If I'm adding on, yeah, just that tiny details that tells you, yeah, the, the surroundings really works. Uh, it really play an important part of, of your render. So yeah, definitely spend your some time to, to study how things works in real life and to pay attention on the details you will figure out oh so this is some detail that we can actually add it on to help the renders getting better and to looks more realistic photorealistic the way i the reason i picked this one i'm just liking the bottom part it looks a little bit more clear than the default uh, glass principal shader shader and that's it you know you don't stress yourself too much about uh, how can I make this perfectly correct in the real life 
It doesn't really matter. It, the matter is the <clears throat> is the final image, the outcome. And a lot of time, to be honest, we our brain is trying to. Uh, to 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 making everything make sense when we look at things. If this thing doesn't look make sense to you, like this is too pretty black or dark, then that looks fake. If these two ha doesn't have too much differences in uh, in for your brain, then you can actually just pick the one that you like better. That's how simple it is. Okay, so yeah, if you think this video is very helpful and you enjoy this. Um, uh, tips in how to use the blenders and for photorealistic rendering, please consider subscribe my channel. My channel just just get started and I it will be continue growing. And uh, thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.